Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and yeah, I bought a brand new Master Lock. I couldn't help it. It was actually really, 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 really cheap. It's like uh, the end of a, um, a sale of these locks, I think, and they were getting rid of the stock. And it, it has got like a, you know, a, a double kind of chain link um, situation going on there. I, I really like it. Yeah. Um, and actually, to be fair to it, they've done quite well with this lock in some regards. So... Um, opens up really nicely. Um, again, you know, double you can put um, a looper chain in there. This one will hold in. You don't put, don't pull it out all the way, or you can release both sides of the the chain if you want, or um, or, or two kind of hasps for a shutter, because these are used quite often for shutters as well as um, two chain links. Um, I don't hate this lock at all. I really don't. Um, the bitting is. It's okay. It's, it's sort of average for a mass lock, isn't it? It's not extreme. Five pins, but the one thing it's going for it is it's got an it's got a completely dead core, no spring whatsoever. It is entirely dead. It's um, and you might think, well, what's the problem with that? Well, it makes setting those spools incredibly tough. It really does. Uh, I will try to demonstrate that for you now. I'll try to pick it, and the way that I sort of get around it is I have to sometimes like um. Um, just uh, overset the pins, then release the tension or release the tension back. It's uh, it's not immediately, like I said, an easy pick. So I'll go. So three doesn't want to be set. That's two. And we're into a false set now. Um, so we're on pin three, which needs a little bit of help to manually set that pin. And it's possible that I've dropped pin two in the interim. That's okay, we can get it back. Uh, there you go. That's one now. And on to pin five at the back. Manual counter rotation again. And just to nudge that pin up. Okay. Now back to pin five, if I can get onto it. And again, having to just manually move that core up. Release the tension again. There we go, and who's left? I think it's back to that last pin, you know, pin five. Uh, Overset something there, I think. There we go. Two definitely set. One definitely set. It's definitely that last pin five. It really is. It's a right pain. Uh, push it all the way up to the back now. There we go. And flick that tension till it drops into another full set. And try and go along it again. And again, we're just back to that last pin, pin five. And we're open. Yeah, so you can see, wasn't, oh, let me just fully open it for you there. Wasn't immediately easy pick. The dead core means that I don't have that spring tension to assist me in uh, setting those spools. Um, so yeah, it actually does make the job a bit harder. I mean, clearly only a couple of minutes, but it does make it a little harder. However, one thing which poor old Mastock just didn't get right is that whilst it's mm, a medium challenge to pick, raking is as ever its nemesis and we're open straight away. What was that, two seconds? I mean, I just... Uh, so close, so close. I mean, it's got a nice armoured steel, uh, hardened steel outer, solid brass inner, um, you know, a dead core. I mean, so many, so many nice things to say about this lock. And then it just rakes within a couple of seconds. I mean, it just, why, why? Just every time it just does, it just, ah.
speechless. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time.